Hey everybody, welcome back to the garage. If this is your first time visiting my channel, please go ahead and click on subscribe and also click on the bell to receive all the updates and activities on my channel. All right, so today we have a product review of LED rock lights. Now these lights were supplied to me by LED Mercy. They reached out to me and says, hey, we would like to supply you uh, with this product in exchange for your review. Uh, they are not paying me for the review, but they did supply the product for your charge. All right. There will be a link in the description that will bring you out to the seller's storefront on Amazon. Some of you may be asking, what are rock lights? Uh, essentially, these are LED lights that are shockproof and waterproof. Um, they have a couple of applications. Um, some people will use them for it to use for like underglow lighting for you know Jeeps or sand rails or side by side, stuff like that. Um, when I saw these, uh, I said, you know what, this would be a pretty good snowmobiling application. Um, I'm not going to be putting them on my sled, but what, I'm gonna, what we are going to be doing is we're going to be using them as secondary lighting inside the, uh, the, uh, the uh, snowmobile trailer, inside the clamshell. And because uh, you know, sometimes you may be loading at night and you may need some light to kind of see what you're doing and what you're working on inside the trailer. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to showcase them and then we're going to install them in the trailer and see what we get for light output. All right. So with that being said, let's review what's in the kit. In the kit, you're going to receive the following. The wiring harness, a control box, some mounting hardware, some uh, rubber isolator pads, and four individual uh, rock lights. So these rock lights, they're weatherproof, they're shockproof, they're all potted and encapsulated. Um, there's three individual LEDs per rock light, and these are RGB, so red, green, and blue. They also have the capacity of doing white once they're all lit. Um, so if you look on the seller storefront, they actually sell two kits, uh, two different variants of this kit. One is the RGB, and then there's, a, then there's just a plain white kit. And the difference between the two is, from what I can see, is the RGB has these nice weather tight uh, protectors. And what they're gonna do is they're gonna uh, connect into the, uh, the harness and then there, there's a screw nut and basically it, it fastens it and it, there's no way it's coming apart or there's weather getting in there because there, there's a seal on, on them as well. So with the regular white kit, uh, all you're gonna do is just get, you're gonna get the rock lights with um, a bare, uh, two bare leads. Um, I would not recommend that because if you're gonna use them in any type of outdoor purposes, um, you know, they're gonna be getting subject to water, dirt, moisture, whatever, and you're gonna have problems. With this, it's pretty much just plug and play. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and install this in the trailer. I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do, and then we're gonna test out the light output from at night once we get, have everything installed. Uh, one quick thing to note that these uh, rock lights are app controlled and what you can do is um, if you look at the control box there's a QR code uh, for an Android or for an iOS device. All you have to do is scan it it will bring you out to the uh, the seller's storefront page uh, whether it be through Google Play or the Apple Play Store and it will bring you out to the app you download it and what it will do it scans it over Bluetooth and it will then see the control box and then you can control all the functions of the lights by uh, your phone. And what's nice about this is um, whatever setting that you leave it on, the last thing it did, as soon as it turns on, it remembers the last setting. So you don't have to worry about uh, continuously resetting these every time you go to turn them on and turn them off. All right, so with that being said, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go out to the trailer. I'm gonna show you where I'm gonna mount them and we'll, we'll wire them up and we'll go from there. All right, so I just finished the install. Got the rock lights uh, secured to the frame of the uh, clamshell. Got two right there. Got the other two right there. And uh, all the wiring is zip tied to the frame. And it comes down so it's nice and neat. You know, take your time when you're doing your wiring. Uh, that makes for a, a nicer job. So, got everything nice and neat and flat and everything else. So we uh, come to the junction point, everything's tied in, goes to the controller box, and then I made my connection with a, uh, with a wire tap. 
and then I'm just have the ground go into the frame of the uh, of a clamshell. So this clamshell, I'm lucky because I already have a 12 volt power source running around uh, the entire clamshell because of, of the marker lights. So this is a relatively easy install. If you don't have anything like that, what you would have to do is you would have to uh, run the wiring down to the bottom of the clamshell, then pick up the wiring on the trailer and, and just uh, tap into the, uh, the running lights or a 12 volt power source. So, all right, so what we'll do is we're gonna wait for nightfall and then we'll hook up the Jeep and we'll test it out at night and see what we get for a light output. All right, so we have the trailer hooked up to the Jeep. The rock lights are on. I'm very surprised on the, uh, the amount of output of light we get from those little, four little uh, puck lights. And uh, so, lights up the contents of the trailer pretty well. And with the, uh, the clamshell, clamshell and the bare aluminum, um, it actually uh, helps it out quite a bit because it reflects a lot of the light coming down from the clamshell. And, uh, you know, it gives you just enough light to do uh, whatever you need to do in the event that you're uh, loading up at night, doing some uh, quick maintenance or whatever you need to do. So, yeah, give it a thumbs up. So, not that expensive, pretty easy to install, and uh, should, out, should work out pretty well. Well, what's nice about it, it also has a nice little party trick called party mode. There you go. So now you can go rocking and rolling in full party mode. All right, so I give this a thumbs up. Not that much money and uh, works quite well. If there's any questions or concerns, go ahead and leave them in the comments box and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching and have a great day. See ya.